Hello, this is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. After listening Monday's Coffee Break with Ninita podcast, you probably think, how do you expect me to be the positive voice, to be the one with the kind words and loving words to my relationship? Who is going to charge me? Who is going to empower me? Who is going to give me that? So I will be able in return to bring it into my relationship. It is true, when we are in a relationship, what we expect is that the relationship will be the anchoring source. It's going to be the one that will help my negativity become positive, my sadness become joy, my darkness become light. And relationships are like a boat in the ocean and sometimes such boat is sailing in calm waters and the journey is very relaxing without ups and downs and other times we see that boat going up and down because there is a storm that is sailing on and when the waters are calm then yes, we draw strength from each other because we are both in a good place. But when there is a storm, we are pretty much faced with the challenge, both of us. Sometimes we'll look at the other person as being the one that should be anchored, should be stable, should be not affected by this storm, when in actuality, we are both affected by this storm. And therefore, it is both of our responsibility to draw strength, not from each other, but to bring that strength to each other. This is perhaps what causes us to struggle a lot in relationships that we try to draw strength from each other instead of bringing strength to each other. Where do we get this strength from? Well, if we are a relationship in faith, in God, that is where we draw the strength from, from our faith, from our relationship with God. If we are not connected in faith, things might be a little bit more challenging. Then we might need, in the place of faith, to draw strength, which is not as powerful as having faith, but nevertheless, it is very helpful to seek professional help. And when I'm saying seek professional help, I'm referring to choosing a professional that will be able to carry us as a walking stick that we need when the path is very difficult we are going through, or when we are tired, or when our legs cannot hold us. The same way, when we are feeling vulnerable, fragile, very unsure and fearful, the one thing we don't want to do is just lean on each other. Instead, each one of us need to find, again, I'm repeating, strength from the faith, strength from a professional, and even better, strength from both. That will help us how? By providing us with the right tools and provide us with this source of energy 
that we need to actually use those tools. Because if I have the tools, but I feel drained, my situation won't be helped. If I have the energy and not the tools, my situation again is not going to better. I need both. I need the strength to endure and the strength to use the tools and to know, to discern when is that I need to use my tools and when is it that I need to just endure until the storm passes where the two of us get an opportunity to talk about it and process all that we are going through. So that the life experiences, when at one point there are tough, difficult challenges, in the future become resources to draw wisdom and strength to overcome future challenges. We thank you for listening to Coffee Break with Nanita. Our goal is to help our stay-whole community work through their challenges. Please join this cause by supporting us on Patreon. You can do that for the price of just one cup of coffee per month. Just click on the Patreon link in the podcast description below or simply visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash stay whole. We appreciate you and hope we can help you stay whole.